Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your November love forecast. This will be a reading where we'll do an extended. So make sure if you want to get the extended version, the link to that can be found below. And as I begin all of the readings, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and support you continue to give to our channel. I read all of your comments, you guys. And for those that are, you all, are, you just really touch my heart. And I just thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your life. Now, a little bit about this reading. You can apply it to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus signs. Hello to our cross watchers. Keep in mind that these messages will flip-flop, okay? So if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. You could even be picking up on an energy that surrounds you, okay? Um, there's no time limit on these readings. So it could have been something that happened months ago. Could be something that's going on right now. Could be something that's coming in in the near future. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. You guys, please subscribe to our channel, okay? And right next to the subscribe button is a little bell. Hit that bell and every time I release a reading, you will be notified, okay? We do private readings. And also, we have a Patreon, you guys. The link to our Patreon is below. You got to get in on the Patreon. $5.55 per month. You get all of the extendants that we ever do. And it's a lot more good information over there as well. All right. We are ready for um, your reading. These are the decks that we're going to deal with on the front row on the uh, on this reading. And then your extended, we're going to bring in the bottom two decks as well. Okay. All right. Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Aquarius. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. This will be your reading for the love forecast for November through December 2020. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universal Messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as it relates to the love forecast for November through December 2020. Okay. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universe, what messages need to be for the sign of Aquarius as it relates to the love forecast for November to December 2020. What messages need to be for? Ooh. All right. My goodness. Oh, there's actually three here. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as it relates to the love forecast for November through December 2020. What messages need to go forth? Okay. All right, that one actually goes first. Okay. Let's see what is going on. Let me move these over here. Here, all right. First card out, Aquarius was past life relationship. You've known each other before. All right, so you could be dealing with some karma, um, a karmic situation right now where you're trying to cancel out a debt. Uh, could be dealing with a twin flame relationship or somebody from your past. Okay, could be dealing with somebody from your past. Firm foundation. So you're really needing a firm foundation. Um, with this situation, uh, this, this firm foundation is, is serious. It's serious. So you're needing a firm foundation. Let's just keep going so we can see. Yeah, partnership and alliances. So this is definitely relating to a partnership. Could mean that your foundation is a little shaky right now, or you're wanting a firm foundation with this relationship. You're wanting something, um, steady. You're wanting something secure base chakra so you're really needing to deal with this base chakra which is um the root chakra okay uh let me get my book give me one second Aquarius, because i really want to make sure that um we are getting the right information as far as the chakra is concerned um uh, the base chakra yeah known as the base or the root chakra this energy center is situated at the base of the spine and is most closely related to all of your earthly issues okay such as survival 
the physical body, issues of money, okay, sustenance, safety, and shelter. To balance the chakra, you need to practice yoga. It can be extremely beneficial. All right, so you need to honor your body and take care of the outside, which will bring you a well-being in the inside. All right, so something is shaking you up, okay? This is very, very clear to me that something is really shaking you up. And what you're saying is that with this partnership of this past life relationship or somebody from your past, you're wanting a firm foundation and right now you're you feel like your chakra is not balanced it's like you're trying to and look at the colors see how the colors are matching you're it's you're not you're not balanced and you're wanting this firm foundation with this relationship and this is keeping you off balance and that's why spirit is telling you to take root it's, it feels like your foundation your shelter your safety everything is being shook up and you're wanting this firm foundation with this relationship and yeah see you need to remain positive because you're not positive right now and some somebody needs maybe need, needs to help you get through this especially if you're feeling like this is not what you should be doing um maybe somebody needs to help you in coming out of this or maybe you guys need to help each other in trying to figure out a solution um, to stabilize the relationship I'm going to need to definitely pull a little bit more because I, we need to see what's going on here because I feel like there's a, an extreme uneasiness. Holy Spirit, the mind, prayer, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as it relates to the love forecast for the November through December 2020? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? Okay, you have Justice, Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups, Two of Wands in Reverse, and your overarching energy is the King of Swords um, in Reverse. With this King of Swords in Reverse, this is um, you somebody being very weak, um, not having emotional control. This is exactly what we were talking about earlier. Just, you know, just very callous, not really caring, uh, but very weak, not having control of your emotions. And if somebody is coming in that is kind of shaking your foundation, that's why your your chakra, your, your safety, your shelter, you know, everything that springs from having a healthy relationship is being shook up. And that's why spirit is telling you to remain positive because this is really unnerving you. And that's why I was saying you may need some help in coming out of this situation mentally. What does that mean by help? It's possibly just talking to a friend, talking to a relative, somebody who is positive, somebody who can help you really tap in. Because with justice here, um, for some of you, this could be a court case, could be uh, something dealing with a, a divorce or uh, I feel like. Fairness is coming in. Spirit is going to bring fairness in to this relationship. And it could mean that uh, fairness coming come by fairness coming in, that means that you may need to be by yourself because this is shaking up your foundation. And see, Spirit is telling you, uh, take responsibility for your life and follow your heart because, see, your overarching energy is just being out of control. Somebody's definitely out of control here. Just totally out of control. And so you're needing to get back in control so you can follow your heart, okay? And take responsibility for what you're supposed to be doing because it's going to lead to that Ten of Cups. It's going to lead to that Ten of Cups. But right now, you have a fear of change because you're holding on to this relationship that may not be working. And that's why you can't move on to this Ten of Cups because you're holding on to something that's not working. You don't want to change. You have a fear of losing or or staying away from this situation that clearly is uh, unnerving you okay spirit is telling you you need to get balance here okay you could be dealing with the sagittarius Aquarius, gemini libra i think that's definitely you with this king of swords in reverse 
Aries, Sagittarius, Leo again coming through. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be done with a Libra. Okay, but we're definitely going to clarify uh, a little bit more what's going on here. And um, make sure you uh, join me on the other side, okay? All right, the link can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.